And about 10 years ago, I decided that I wanted to do something I wanted to when I first started my company, and that is to have a real estate company. I always like real estate investing and make as much or more off of real estate investments than I do my equity or other positions that I would have for myself and my clients. So I said, why am I not doing it? And what I really wanted to do was to flip. I had been doing that a little bit when I was younger, decided that that's something I wanted to do uh, now with the season of life that I was in and finish off to retirement uh, with real estate. Well, I made that decision, but that decision again kind of uh, got a hold of me in reality is that I want to take a pool of funds and I want to flip it within a period of time, a 12 month, 24 month period. And I want that $100,000 to turn into 150 and I want that 150 to turn into. Um, and if you're going to be able to do that, then you really have to have a team of people. That's what I discovered after all the years. And about four years ago or so, I met Bo and I met Bellwood uh, through another uh, real estate agent and got introduced to it. And I kind of, I just came in as an investor is what I did. So I just started investing and everything worked. It worked just as well or better than what I was doing on my own with the, with my own company. So basically what's happened is that I've phased out of that and I phased completely into just using Bellwood. Um, overall, I'm able to make about the same returns on investment or ROIs that I was making when I was out trying to do it myself without all those other headaches that we're talking about. Allowing again for more opportunity for me to have more sales with what I'm doing with my my financial planning business and opportunity again to spend with my family and so on and so forth. This uh, overall to me is that it's become one of the safest investments that I've been able to offer from the standpoint of what again what Bo was pointing out before and that is there's no other investment out there that I know of that I'm going to have a deed and a note on a piece of property to secure the investment I have with real estate. I, I can provide a, what's called a REIT, which is a real estate investment trust. You could have a limited partnership. There's many different, there's real estate funds that are out there that you can participate in, but you're a shareholder. You're, you're an equity holder. You don't own anything. If, if anything happens with that piece of property, you go down with the ship as it were. But again, with what Bo was pointing out here, when you have a deed of trust, you are the bank. You're leaning that piece of property. If something happens, if they went off the face of the earth, as he said, your investment is clear. And you, when you have uh, only but leveraging 20% against the property, right. you really don't have as much risk. If it was 100%, maybe, but not when you, again, are, are fractionalizing your, your, your leverage there. So I've just found this to be something that, again, that everybody should have in their portfolio currently. I don't care whether you're young or you're old right now, which is very unique in the inverse market that we find ourselves in right now, that you're able to provide this to, uh, for a portfolio and still make a good rate of return with all the safety that it provides. So that's basically what, what I do and who I am.